Yo, we got a lot of catching up to do. Y'all remember last episode when I said I was driving to New York to make the drop off with Duda? Well, that was true, but I had something else up my sleeve as well. See, there's this very important drug figure on the East Coast known as Old Man. He's in control of all the drug trafficking that goes on in the Italian mob. Recently, the feds moved in and seized over $3 million worth of drugs from his operation. When I found out about that, I knew he'd be in need of a quick re-up, so I set up a meeting. See, normally, the Italians wouldn't work with my kind, but desperate times call for desperate measures. The 35th law in the 48 laws of power says, master the art of timing. Well, that's exactly what I did. Knowing old man was desperate for a new supplier, I was able to make double what I would normally make on a deal of this magnitude. Meeting with him was inspiring. You see how he's able to relax at his mansion in his pink blazer without even having to touch a pistol every day? See, that's the life I want for myself. But unfortunately, I don't see that happening no time soon. I didn't tell Duda about the deal with old man because honestly, with him being blackmailed by that police officer, I don't know if I could trust him. I checked in on him one last time before leaving the city. And the more I listened to him talk, the more I could tell he wasn't ready to take on more responsibility. I let him know about the drop weeks ago, so he should already have his team and his territory in place to start making moves. Well, of course, he didn't. I ended up having to help lay law and take over a block. See, this is the type of stuff I'm trying to get away from. See, I've been in do the shoes before. I didn't have no guidance and I felt untouchable. I hate to see little bro crash, but I know no matter what I try to tell him, he won't listen. So I reached out to our pops. I set up a surprise meeting. See, pops has seen it all in the streets. And honestly, he's probably the only dude that'll be able to get through to this man. Uh, nah, he, he cool. It, it's good. He got every right to be mad at me. I wasn't there for my son, but, but now I'm trying to be though. I, I want to be in y'all life and, and see my grandkids. Nigga, you told him about the baby? Cash, what does you own, bro? He's our pops, bro. He can't know about his grandkid. You lost me, bro. Don't call my phone no more. Matter of fact, I'm about to go get a new phone right now, nigga. Sometimes cutting off people doesn't have limits. Family can get cut off too. You have to eliminate any and all negativity from your circle. I'm just hoping that doesn't include my brother Duda. I've got business to tend to back in LA, so I think it's about time I hit the road. See y'all soon. Since I started working for Catalina, my whole life has changed. I went from being a damn worker to being a damn boss. I'm making more money now than I ever could have made in a rap game. I'm talking generational wealth, properties, land, storefronts, the whole nine. See, the streets don't come with a retirement plan, so the investments I'm making now are gonna set me up forever. But don't get it twisted. I'm just like everybody else that comes from the hood. We all playing the same game, just on different levels. Dealing with the same hell, just a different devil. I watch many people I know spend their whole lives in the streets. 
taking penitentiary chances with absolutely nothing to show from it. See, when I leave this earth, I want to leave something behind that'll give my young life a head start. I got word today that the final touches were complete on a business I've been working on for some time. I'm on my way over there now to check it out. Yes, sir! PFG family, we are finally back with another dope ass video. Like always, go ahead and smack that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video on the way in. Now guys, I gotta go ahead and start with it, man. I gotta go ahead and acknowledge it. The channel has officially, officially surpassed 80 thousand subscribers bro 80,000 subscribers that's crazy like literally 80,000 plus people smack that subscribe button man so I just want to go ahead and say thank you thank you thank you so much that made my birthday like so much better man so I just want to start off by saying thank you and it's only up from here um so I just want to address a few quick things um what the heck yeah so like as far as messages uh, i know i get like a lot of messages on instagram i actually try to respond to about 50 messages a day but i know there's still some people who i haven't got a chance to get back to so i do apologize i'm trying my best i don't want you to feel like i'm ignoring you or anything like that i promise you i will respond i just got a lot of freaking messages in there and i appreciate the love um also the giveaway now initially i said i was going to be giving away my pc the pc i'm playing on right now i said i was going to give that away at 80,000 subscribers but I actually changed my mind now the reason being is because I would be giving you a used PC which I figured like it's kind of I mean obviously if you don't have a PC that's cool but I think it's kind of more dope to do a brand new one so the the new one the new um, giveaway will be at a hundred thousand guys we are not that far away I promise you it's not gonna take long and I will be giving away a brand new PC I'm gonna go to my boy I smacks who built my PC I'm gonna have him build you guys one or I can just send you the money whichever one you know whichever the one the winner wants I will do so at a hundred thousand I will be giving away the PC or just sending you the money uh, the cost of the PC and yeah man so I just wanted to do something special for you guys I'm not asking for no handouts you can't go to my video descriptions and see my cash app in there none of that I haven't asked you guys for anything but support and to like the video smack the subscribe button so I just want to say thank you and um, I've, like I said, I've gotten a lot of questions about the giveaway. Like, what is dude doing? Is he doing it or not? So I just wanted to go ahead and finally address that, man. But anyways, as you can see, we are in that brand new Lambo. Now, the thing about it is, this is a 2015 Lambo. Hey, man, it's, it's, the, best, it's the best I can do right now. We rich, but we ain't rich, rich, you know? So this is a 2015 Lambo. Eventually, hopefully, if things, you know, go as planned, we can upgrade to a newer one. It's kind of slow right now, and it's not very loud, but... It's all good, man. We just got it. So we're going to, you know, add some little tidbits to it. Speed it up a little bit. Make it a little more dangerous. But <clears throat> the thing is, I know you guys saw the truck in the last episode. I had the little truck, you know, the raggedy truck trying to fit in. That, that I still got that. That's still the case. But the thing, what is this bus doing? But the thing is, I'll never take the Lambo to the hood. I, I, you got to keep you got to keep your two lives separate. So that's why, you know, when we on our business, grown man stuff, this is probably what I'll be driving. But when we, you know, handling business, other types of business, I, <laughs> I'll be in the truck. So I just wanted to go ahead and touch on that. But anyways, we are pulling up to our dispensary. Guys, I know that's news to you. I wanted to keep everything under wraps. This is something I've been working on for a very long time. And you can't, you know, you can't tell everybody your plans and your goals and stuff until after they're done. So, yeah, so guys, we have a brand new dispensary. It is not actually even open yet. Here it is right here on the right hand side. Um, I'm working with the city on getting these damn dumpsters and stuff moved over here on the side of the building. So that is to come. All right, guys, so yes, this is our dispensary. I named it Best Buds, as you can see. I mean, it's a very, very good location. Uh, the police station is actually not too far away. I mean, we making legal money now. Of course, we making illegal money, but they ain't gotta know about all that. But let's go ahead and go inside. Now, it's not officially open. Um, we still got a, a few small touches, but everything is actually in place for the most part. We'll go ahead and start over here. We have our lounge area, you know, as you're waiting to be served or if you, you know, testing out some products, you have a area to sit and kick your feet up. Well, don't kick your feet up, but you know, <laughs> it's got to chill out, whatever. And then of course we have our displays. Um, we have all of our pipes and our edibles right here uh, behind our register. Um, and we also have samples. If you're not sure of, you know, the, what strands you want to try or, you know, we got a sample here for you. You know, we ain't, we ain't pressed about nothing, but yeah, like I said, we got our scales. We got our pipes, our bongs, and we also have our edibles here. Now, of course, you guys got to go ahead and acknowledge the decorations, man. Like the 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 artist that that did our walls and 
Hung our paintings, did an amazing job. We got our ATM over there, so it ain't no excuses. You know, you know, we got everything prepared, man. But let's go ahead and head in the back. All right, guys, so back here we have our storage. Now, it's nothing, you know, nothing special. This is, you know, just for the employees to be able to grab something on hand, you know, extra pipes, bongs, and, you know, a few of our strands are set out. You know, nothing too crazy. I got my schedule over there as long, along with some goals, and if we need to bag anything, we have a little area to do that, along with the safe so we can go ahead and handle, you know, the, the cash register breakdown at the end of the night. Now, we can move forward a little bit. Most people don't get to see all this, man. So I'm giving y'all an exclusive since we family. Uh, back here is a little bit of a storage room. These plants here are actually waiting to be potted. As you can see, we got our pots there. So that's what this area is. Now moving forward to the heart and soul of this whole entire operation, man. This is our go our grow room. This actually is, um, I can't even think of the damn name. It's, it's got a temperature, bro. Temperature control. <laughs> I'll be going blank when I be recording and I go back and listen and feel so stupid, bro. So just forgive me. But yeah, this area is actually uh, temperature control. We have our plants here being grown, um, you know, a few different strands. Uh, so yeah, man, this is actually our, our dispensary. Like I said, I've been working on this area for a very long time. I'm sorry for keeping a secret, but hey, man, you got to kind of keep your goals private and just come back, you know, one day with, you know, everything accomplished, you know, so um, we will actually have our grand opening probably within the next few episodes. Um, also, if you guys would like to visit our dispensary or if you're looking to put in an application, I will go ahead and leave a link to the dispensary in the video description below. Well, guys, I just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick tour of our new endeavor. Honestly, I'm not quite sure how much we can, you know, we can make. We'll have to wait and see what our first week sales are looking like. So, man, I, I, I feel like, you know, we got a lot of potential here. Now, there is another dispensary over on the beach. I think it's called like a smoke on the water or something like that. If y'all with it, I'm with it. And we, you know, this one do good. We can see about purchasing that. So y'all go ahead and comment down below. Should we purchase the dispensary on the beach or should we just, you know, kind of build from scratch and keep what we got here? So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all, you know, dibble and dabble, look around a little bit, and we're gonna jump right back into the story. Well, this is how I spend my Saturday mornings on days we have deliveries. Now, of course, I could have somebody else do this job, but I can't afford to have any mishaps. See, logistics are often the most important part of every business, but unfortunately, is often the most overlooked. After receiving the shipment, I try to make it to the trap house before the sun comes all the way up and get the truck unloaded. Once everything is unloaded, I check the inventory and make sure we have exactly what we ordered. Sometimes they'll throw in a little bit of extras because they know my team will get it off quick. Once inventory is done, I leave the weekly payroll for my team in the front bedroom. I leave it up to them to split it up evenly. Normally around 8.30, I'm leaving out the trap spot to go get breakfast. And basically the majority of my work is done. After getting breakfast, I come back to the block and post up at my neighbor's house just to ensure our second shipment goes smoothly. I give her a couple hundred dollars each week to keep quiet. For safety precautions, I never take my truck to my condo and I never take my Lambo to the hood. I drop my truck off each time at the local hospital parking garage and I just take a taxi home. While I was in New York, all I kept hearing about was some kid named Miles Arnold. Well, he recently committed to UCLA and tonight is their Midnight Madness game. I think I'm gonna go see if I can connect with Mr. Arnold. So I'm on the way to the UCLA campus. Uh, their Midnight Madness game should be starting here shortly. So I plan on just kind of waiting around and sitting outside until hopefully I can find somebody that can put me in contact with Miles or, you know, hopefully I can speak to the man himself. Now, I know it's kind of far fetched and kind of extreme for me to go up and just ask him to start, you know, selling drugs for me. So I'm not going to do that, man. I got to I got to, you know, play at the man's wants and needs. So I'm going to try to figure out if he's wanting for anything. I know, you know, when you're in college, you know, you can't accept no, no benefits or anything like that. So obviously I'm going to keep everything discreet. But I know, you know, when you also in college, it's kind of hard to 
you know, get by. Now, he's a superstar, supposedly. I don't think he was better than me when I was playing, but, you know, that <laughs> that's another story. But I'm going to try to see if he's wanting for anything, whether it be money, food, whatever the case may be. And, you know, that's no big deal to me. What is this car doing? You know, that's no big deal to me. And hopefully we can get him on our team, bro, and start moving work on the campus. If we can do that, that may take things to the very, like, that's, that's going to be crazy, man. So I'm going to go ahead and get parked, and we'll see if we can find that man. After waiting for what felt like 10 hours, I finally found the man himself. Now I'm not gonna lie, he seemed like a cool dude, but I could tell he's super scary. I offered him a few things, you know, but as I expected him to do, he denied it. It's okay though, he gonna come around very soon, just watch. <laughs> 